Hi everyone, welcome to the webinar from Agile Work to Business Agility. The journey goes on. Today, Mariano Galán, Head of Application Lifecycle Management of Atlassian, and me, William Guevara, Head of Agile at, at the Sistemas, are going to spend with you this time talking about and working on the following agenda. We are going to talk about the current situation and the main obstacle to scaling Agile practices. Then we're going to share with you our integral agile transformation framework that we usually use for our services. We also are going to share and talk about our lean enterprise solution. This is our end-to-end -end value proposition. And then we are going to answer the question, how do Atlassian tools help us in these journeys with our clients? And finally, we are going to play a Jira Align demo. So let's start with the first topic of the agenda the current situation and the main obstacle to scaling Agile practices. When we work with our clients, we usually find at least two scenarios. The scenario number one, companies or departments that are considering a transformation process to new way of working based on Agile practices and principles. The scenario number two, companies are, or departments that already work with Agile teams but they haven't been able to make the most of those things related to uh, managing risks, synergies, dependencies, and so far and so forth. The main causes that we usually find when we have to deal with the challenges of these clients are the deficiencies in, in the previous analysis, uh, a weak a sponsor or leader involvement or this is a sponsor in the transformation process, insufficient training in different areas, not only in Agile methodologies, for example, focus on Agile practices and mindset, which is really important, but it's not enough, and a, a big gap between Agile practices and behaviors and the mindset required for those practices to succeed. And finally, a traditional approach to the change process what we call the Newtonian approach to the chain process. With all this information in mind, we really believe that in order to help our clients in an effective way, we have to take into account at least three main topics or things to take into account. Perform an assessment, a personalized assessment that take into account the reality, the unique reality of our clients. This is very, very important for us establish a roadmap with the necessary points to a step in order to inspect and adapt. That's quite important also in the transformation process. And finally, using an integral approach to the change process, an integral approach instead of the traditional one that many companies usually use. With this information in mind, we would like to, to share with you the Integral Agile Transformation Framework, which is the framework we usually use in order to set a foundation for the kind of services we, we provide to our clients. The Integral Agile Transformation Framework um, allow us to see the reality, the unique reality of our client from different perspectives. Those perspectives are the quadrants. We can see four quadrants in this framework. The left-hand quadrants are aiming at developing the ability of our client for being agile. The right-hand quadrants are most likely to benefit our clients in their efforts toward doing agile. If we if we pay attention to the to the first quadrant, upper upper left, for example, left uh, leadership and mindset. When we work with our client here, the most important aspect to take into account is the fact that we need to work with the leaders because we really believe that leadership in this kind of transformation cannot be delegated. So here we are, we are going to approach to our, to, our, to our client in order to work with their leaders in more inner aspects such as belief, assumptions, mental model, what are the, the kind of mechanisms they usually use to make sense of the reality, for example. And when we have to work in the upper right quadrant practices and behavior, here we take into account 
things that there are many types of user, there are many types of um, value or many types of perspective of what value means. And here we're going to play to pay attention to the fact that we need to evolve the way we produce software or develop or innovate the software development process in order to get a better innovation. In the bottom right quadrant, organizational architecture, here we're going to pay attention and work with our client in the structure and the policies. We're going to try to make the most of what is the best structure in order to help our clients enhance the process of innovation. So things that are quite important here is the team topologies, what are the mechanisms to the mechanisms that the company have in order to uh, finance a structure and initiative in order to create um, to create value and make the most of the value flow across the value stream of the company, for example. Finally, the uh, bottom left quadrant, organizational, organizational culture and relationship. Here we're going to pay attention and work with our client in the most fundamental principles of AYA, that is collaboration, sharing, transparency, and so far and so forth. Here, the most important aspects to take into account are things such as what is the way that the people together make sense of their reality, what how people um, value the quality of their relationships, there is the culture in general. With those perspectives, we are going to try to help our clients in the evolution of all of the quadrants. The, the most important aspect to take into account here is the fact that no matter where our clients is, depending on the quadrant, we as a company are going to help you to evolve consciously in all of the quadrant, depending on what the result of the assessment is. Here we have an iconographic representation of some kind of vendor, framework, software tooling in order to have a, a sense of where those tooling that are very familiar for us are used in the transformation process and how they match or fit into the integral agile transformation framework. So we can see how Scrum, DevOps, Jira software, liberating structure can be mapped into the upper, upper right quadrant, practices and behaviors. Jira Align, which we are going to perform the demo at the end of the webinar. And Kanban and SAFE, for example, are mapped into the organizational architecture. Leadership Circle is very useful for the left-hand quadrants because we are going to work with the leadership and the culture individually and collectively. Similarly, ORS, the Organizational Relationship System Coaching, is a very important a tool or framework in order to work with the, with the culture, the relationship in, in, in the team of our clients. With that in mind, our, our solution, Link Enterprise Solution, that is our end-to-end -end value proposition, is we can think of it like a five-step high-level roadmap when we can we can activate all the steps in order to help our client the transformation process. For example, the first one is identification of the need. Here we're going to look at what is the system where we have to work in with the client, what are the type of change that the system is demanding, who is the sponsor, who is the position of the, of the sponsor inside the company, and things like that. The step number two is the personalized onboarding. Here we're going to work with the client in order to, to perform an assessment, an integral assessment of all quadrants, depending of or re related to our internal agile transformation framework. And the main objective here is to try to get a sense of what is the level of maturity in each quadrant. When we have those results, Mm, we can make sense of the of, of the of the information we got from the assessment together with our client so we will be able to co-create the, the change strategy in, in this case we are going to work with the client in order to uh, get to know if we have to work in the evolution of the first quadrant for example leadership and mindset and then we need to work on organizational and cultural and relationship for example 
when we have this this sense of the reality, the unique reality of our client, we will be able to establish what are the role, responsibility required to lead the change. This is the change management office. Here we are going to set the roles, responsibility, but also what are the mechanisms, the governance model in order to succeed with this transformation. Finally, last but not least, we are going to execute the initiative we've already identified in the uh, co-creation of the strategy, of the change strategy. So with that in mind, we have a, a high level overview of how is the Lean Enterprise Solution um, provide different aspects, uh, um, steps and mechanisms in order to help you as a client in your transformation process. So here we have the question that how do we Atlassian tool help us and uh, here Mariano please help us respond to this question. Thank you William. Uh, as you have said people are the most important aspect of every transformation process but uh, well used tools uh, can be very helpful. In other systems uh, we consider that Atlassian tools are the best option to help in these enterprise agility processes. Depending on the maturity of the agile work that the company has, uh, we can use a set of tools or another. In the diagram, uh, you can see uh, three levels. In the bottom uh, one, uh, if the company is working in an agile way at team level, using a common framework uh, like Scrum or Kanban, uh, the best Atlassian tools is uh, Dira software, uh, of course, uh, integrated with Confluence and uh, DevOps tools uh, like uh, GitLab, Bitbucket, uh, Jenkins, uh, monitoring tools, testing tools, and uh, more. Uh, in the next uh, level, uh, if we have a solid way to work in the team level and we want to, to go up to, to the next level and, and work at a program level, we can use uh, specialized marketplace add-ons uh, like Big Picture, Tem Tempo Suite add-ons, uh, ECBI, Agile High for uh, advanced uh, roadmap. Uh, even uh, you can use uh, Jira Line that uh, also allows uh, program uh, management. These add-ons uh, can be used to solve the specific issues of uh, Agile at scale, uh, implementing the program level using several frameworks like uh, SAFE. Uh, to manage uh, to managing uh, planning and capacity global roadmaps uh, cross project versions cost management uh, among others lastly uh, in the in the last uh, level when we have a solid uh, agile way of working at team and department level we can jump to the to this last level the enterprise agility level in this level the line can, can help us to get a global visibility connecting the enterprise strategy with the execution of the teams. Now, uh, William is going to show us uh, how Jira Line works and how it can help us in the enterprise agility journey. Thank you, William. Thank you, Mariano. Effectively, we are going to, to jump on the, on the Jira Line uh, demo. Well, this is the this is the the welcome page of uh, of Jira Line. The first time you log in in Jira Line, you are going to see this welcome page or one similar like this because Jira Line is a role based solution. So the things you are going to see are going to depend on on your role. In any case, uh, the way we are going to move in Jira Line is with the navigation panel that we can see over here. Jira Line is very well designed to, the, to implement in SAFE. That's why we are going to see different levels, as Mariano told us just a little bit earlier. Enterprise level, portfolio level, program or art level, and the team level. Here, across on the top, we can see also different um, kind of filters in order to set the context to slide and dice the data you want to see at Jira Line. For example, we can see how how the structure of of this company is 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 made 
in your align. For example, we can see the portfolio level, the program or art level, and the teams that are belong to that program level. Additionally, we can set the time, the timeline. In this, in this part, we in this case we have a quarterly increments that are very related to the concept of PI or program increment. For example, for the demo, we are going every all the information we are going to see in Jira line is already be filtered by mobile program and the quarterly increment number five. One of the main objectives of Jira line, just to remember, is to 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 bridge the gap between the strategy formulation, the program execution, and the day-to-day -day work of the teams. That's quite important in order to gain visibility, visibility, transparency, and collaboration across the company. So having said that, we are going to start with the enterprise level in order to see the strategic room. All the levels have a room. That's quite important to know in your line. The strategic room, are going to to show inf it's going to show information about at the top level so why that's why we are going to see information such as mission vision and value for example the strat the strategy the strategy pyramid is uh, a, a hierarchical representation of that information we also can see a snapshot of progress in order to have a sense of what is the progress the progress toward the um, strategic goal for example if we scroll down, we can have a look at the OKR heat map, which is also another way to have a sense of the progress toward the objective. And finally, with here we can see the OKR tree when we can look at the strategic goals and how those strategic goals break down into portfolio, program, and team objectives. For example, in the mission, vision, and values, are, are hard, is, 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 or hardly ever they are going to change, but um, the strategic goal can be changed over the, the period of time. If we click on strategic goal, for example, we are going to see the similar information, the hierarchical information in the strategic padlock, as we can see over here, the mission, the vision, the values, the strategic goal, things, and the epics. So we can have a look at the information, the, strate the, 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 the strategic information at this level. Any company can modify this hierarchy. So we can see clients with the strategic goal level or companies without that level in the hierarchy. When we, got, when we go to the portfolio level and we go to the backlog, we are going to start working with epics. Epics are the, the level of, of the piece of work that we usually manage at the, at the top level of the organization, the, the portfolio level. So here we can see that we are working in the program mobile, in the program increment number five, the quarterly increment number five, and all the information we can see here are the epics that belong to that period of time. Another important aspect we can see just over here is how we can change the kind of backlogs. Epic, feature, story, defect, and objective backlogs, for example. When we are working at this level, chances are that we are trying to establish or to configure the work to be done in order to achieve some strategic goal at this level. So the way we can we have in Jira line to introduce new 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 work at this level is just writing here a new epic for example, and we can add the information. This is very user friendly. Another another important aspect to realize to highlight here is how the epics is breaking down into features in this case. No? this epics is bro is broken down in three features for example for this PI. Number five, when we are working or trying to do some kind of grooming of the backlog at this level, we can change priority of the work. We can drag and drop in order to move the information related to the epic up or down. We can also use the click right button in order to move the top, move the bottom, or just to tell your line we're going to move this information.
This is a way, an easy way to change priority, but we can also use the function of your line of prioritize the work in order to try to set or use uh, several methods, such as, such as t-shirt sizes or WSJF, for example, if we are working with safe framework or using story points. So this way we, we, we have the ability to work on the epic backlog. If we change the, the view and we go to the Kanban value stream view, we are going to see the view of the portfolio Kanban when we work when we when we work with uh, with say framework for example. Here we can see the Kanban board, the portfolio Kanban board, funnel reviewing, analyzing portfolio, implementing MVP, and so far so forth. If we active the exit criteria, we can remember what are the criteria for each column. For example, for portfolio backlog. Epics are going to be here when the capacity has been allocated and the final budget has been already approved. This is an information that's quite interesting because depending on where the Epic is in the backlog, the more detail or less detail you are going to inform in the Epics. For example, is we, is we, is we click in one Epics, we are going to be able to realize that we need to inform a uh, great detail uh, related to the epic, such as this, the description. For example, for this epic, we are going to see that the primary program that is going to be working on it is the program mobile, the, the mobile program. But there are other programs that are re relation with the mobile program that are going to be working or we plan to be working in that epic the AI, blockchain, and web program, for example, uh, we intend to, uh, to make that then work on, on this epic. Another important information we can, we can visualize in the epic is how, the epic, how we plan out to work on the epic, for example, in three PIs, quarterly increment number five, number six, and number seven, for example. Another information that is very useful is the where is shorted just first for each of the quarterly increments. So this gives us information about how important the EPI is in those program increments. If we go down, we can see another information that is the, the, the how the EPI is broken down. So these informations are the features. And here we can, we can see the integration feature between Jira Align and Jira Software because some of these epics can be created in Jira Online, but others in Jira Software. As we said earlier, when we have working at this level, we are um, setting, um, introducing the job to be done in order to uh, make progress toward our strategic goals. So that's very important to keep in mind because chances are that when we are working at this level, we are going to be competing with other resources, with, with other arts, with other programs. So we are going to be competing with the same amount of money, with the same amount of time, with all resources in general. So the analyze the analyzing function the Jira line in order to get information about the ROI score analysis would be very useful in this case because we are going to be able to visualize the scoring that the EPIC has relating to the other piece of work. For example, we can see that this EPICS is very important to work on it because it has, a, has an score of 83, so practically is at the top. So we can expect value from working on this EPIC. That's the lecture we can see. No? At this point in time, we have worked with the EPIC backlog so in order to make some grooming of the backlog we were we were able to work also in the in the portfolio kanban in order to see how the epic move along the the portfolio kanban and um, if we are working in the pre-pi planning for example this is very important because we are grooming the backlog if we go if we go to the feature backlog thinking about the pi planning process for example 
we are going to see what are the top 10 features that are going to be taken into account for the PI planning process. These are the top 10 features that we are going to work on it. If we go back to the EPIC backlog, for example, we also can see information related to capacity planning, because if we are going to work in the PI planning, one important aspect to take in, into consideration is the capacity planning. So we can see that information in the Kanban view that we are looking at the screen right now. Here we can see how Jira Align make an estimate that the 58% of the EPICs of, of the of the epic points are loaded automatically in this for this quarter for this pi increment uh, the way jira line calculate this information is going back to the history the previous two quarterly in order to um, make an estimate about what kind of information one quantity of information uh, the the teams are are expected to accomplish this is an estimate, but if we look at the actual actual estimate done by the teams, we can see that uh, there is an overloaded of story points in this case. In this case, one of the things we can do when we are performing the PI planning is to select other quarter increment, for example, the, the next two in order to make a balance in between the capacity the teams have in the actual and the estimate that your line provides. So we can, in this case, we can balance some kind of epics and move those epics to other uh, quarterly increments. This is a way to work on, 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 on this situation, for example. Once we have in, in the PI planning process, for example, we we can we can work on dependencies dependencies in Jira Online could be uh, of one of three type of dependency for example dependency within a team dependencies across team and external dependencies for example in Jira Online the dependencies can be seen as a work or a commitment an agreement between two teams. One team needs something from another team, and you can create several stories in order to um, qualify, to, de to, to, to make detail of the requirements that you are going to ask for the other teams. The way we can visualize this information in order to manage in the PI planning process is the well view, for example. In the well view, we are going to see all the teams that are part of the of the art of the program mobile. All those are teams. We are going to see how those things are connected with different lines. Those lines, uh, th those lines have different colors. For example, the green, the green color represents dependencies that have been already uh, managed. The blue one are dependencies that haven't been dealt with uh, so far or yet and the and the red one are dependencies that need uh, some actions or requirement from the role of the pi planning if we select the cowboys team for example we are going to see how those teams has two dependent dependencies in in red that is a from the perspective of other teams, other teams are asking the team cowboys to commit to make an agreement in some amount of in some piece of work. If we scroll down here, we we can locate and identify the user story that is related to the dependency, and we can see what is happening with with it. In this case, the dependency haven't been committed yet, but the, the team that is demanding for this work needed for the spring 27. But the cowboy teams, the cowboys team haven't committed it yet. Another important aspect to take into account, especially if we are working in the PI planning process, for example, is the program board. The program board 
uh, is very useful at this point in time because it allows you to see a lot of information related to the to the to the planning process to the pi planning so that you can see how the information how the goals are are getting uh, are getting a, a, as long as the time goes by and um, for example in this case i'm going to uh, filter only for the pi increment number five in order to to focus the analysis only in the uh, PI planning we are working on. In this case, for example, we can see information the sprints that are part of the of the PI of the program increment, sprint 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, and 8, for example. We can see what are the objectives that have been already completed. We can also review here the information if we have any doubts. The objectives that we, we have been accomplished. We can see also information related to the features, how the feature, for example, the green, the green uh, features are features that have been already completed. The green features with the check marked are features that have been already completed and have the approval from the product owner of the team or the product manager. This is quite important. For example, we can see also in the Cowboys team, the dependency we've already saw, such as this one. Uh, this is the icon of the dependencies, and we can see how this team, the Cowboys team, has one dependency that hasn't been addressed yet. So this the program board is a very useful Mm, dashboard or panel of information that is going to provide information for the teams that belong to the train, in this case, the program mobile, how well they are performing along the PI planning, at least at the moment of the PI planning, but also when the PI execution. And they are going to give up information very, uh, very useful or very friendly. Before finishing the demo, I'd like to show another important element of Jira Online, specifically the room at the program level. The program room is, is a set of dashboard reports that are very well configured in order to provide information about the health of the program increment or program increments, depending on the, the filter I have in the context area. In this case, we are we are looking at information of the program mobile, the quarterly increment number five, and we can see how well we are working toward the objective, the PI objective of this quarterly increment. We can see information such as the checklist in order to help our the user to follow the steps in the in the PI planning process, for example, planning checklist. We can see information related to the progress of the of the art of the program mobile. We can see information related to teams in order to see how is the team load and how is the team progressing toward the committed objective. And also we can see several information such as the objective itself, the risks, and much more information. Just over here, we can see additional information that is very useful to have to take into account, such as the group velocity, in order to have a sense of the velocity in each spring. But also, for example, quarterly increment brain uh, burn, burn down or burn up chart, for example. Here, this is it. Here we have the information. So all this information is very useful for the user in order to have a sense of what is the progress and how well we are working toward the commitment, the PI objective we've already committed in the PI planning. So this is a high level overview of Jira Align. So we expect that you have enjoyed the demo. And if you have any question, please feel free to get in contact with us. Thank you very much.